What's up Bertini fam? Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over my top five favorite exhaust systems. And in my opinion, these are the top five best exhaust systems that you could put on your Harley Davidson motorcycles. More specifically, those of you who have Milwaukee 8 motors. Now, before we jump into today's video, if you have not yet joined the Bertini fam, do me a big favor, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you're notified every single time I put out a new video. The benefit of subscribing to my YouTube channel is that I have several build series that are going to be starting on a motorcycle build series. Um, I have a sports car build series that's going to be have, coming up here soon. And I also have some motorcycle restoration videos that are going to be coming up. So you're going to want to stay tuned in for those things. Also too, something recently that came up, if you're interested in learning how I can afford all these things and how I make my money, I'm going to be doing a series on that of how I've built my wealth up. And so you're going to want to stay tuned in for that. If you're interested, of course, and learning how I make money from working from your house. Now with all the formalities out of the way, go ahead and roll the intro. Now really quickly before I get into my list, I wanna put something out there. I'm specifically talking about two into one systems. For those of you who don't know this, or for those of you who are, who are coming from twin cam motors or other motors, the for the Milwaukee 8 motor, the two in a one exhaust system is by far the best when it comes to performance. So for those of you who have true uh, dual systems or whatever, those are not in terms of power. If you're looking for power, obviously if you're looking for sound and looks, get whatever the hell you want. I'm talking about pure performance here. Two in a one exhaust systems on the Milwaukee 8 motors, it's like a must have. Now to start off with the top five and who has the fifth spot on my list, it goes to the D&D &D Billet Cat two in a one exhaust system. Now for those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure if you're in the Harley space, you know D&D. They make some monster bad boy heavy hitting exhaust systems. They're one of the leading manufacturers um, in exhaust systems. They make really, really good stuff. The exhaust that I'm recommending to you here that I'm showing you, um, there's a few different configuration styles that you're going to want to go with in order to get the most out of this system. This exhaust out of like out of door ship to you and everything is going to bring you roughly around like between the $1,900 and uh, $2,000 mark. But this system is mean. It sounds absolutely insane. It is a really, really good sounding exhaust, but I will tell you this, it is a very loud system. So for those of you who are interested in like blowing people's ears up and like making like rowdy, rowdy noises, <laughs> this exhaust is the exhaust for you. Now, if you are after performance, they do have different options, as you see, that you can select here. So you have um, the big bore baffle, um, as well as the ghost pipe. So as you see it on the screen right now, this is the configuration that I recommend. Of course, if you're not into doing you know, the black exhaust, they also, of course, have it in the polish finish as well. Um, but of you know, my personal style, at least with this particular exhaust system, I would go with the black. This is a really good system. Now, the one thing I will say, um, and I do want to call this out with any of the exhaust systems, is um, there are pros and cons to all of these systems. So um, with the D&D system, while it is going to be lighter than the factory system that comes on um, your baggers or uh, any of the motors that typically come from the factory with the Milwaukee 8 motor, um, any of those exhaust systems, so it's going to be lighter than that. This is still a heavier system because remember, um, this is going to have uh, two that come out to the back. So obviously that adds weight to your bike. But of course, it's a visual thing if that's what you're into. And what's really cool about the D&D is they have like different tip options that you could change out. So if let's say you get bored of um, one of the tip options, of course, you can always change it out. They sell extra tips um, if you're interested in doing something like that. The one thing I have heard about this system um, over the years is after several years, at least mainly for the Florida people, um, that under the shields, they've uh, complained about some rust. Now, I have seen some systems that do have the rust. They could have been just from a bad batch or whatever. Um, but of course, that's completely on you if that's what you're interested in doing. And that's partially what put it on the fifth spot on my list. That and the amount of weight that you add, um, that's, that's really what put it there. But this thing makes crazy power. If you're looking to achieve like peak power, 
this is definitely exhaust for you. Just of course, considering the weight that comes you know, with that exhaust system. All right, so now let's jump into number four. So the number four spot on my list is the exhausts from SPB Fab. Now, for those of you who have not heard of this company, this company makes handmade exhaust systems. You can go and check out their Instagram. They're literally handcrafting these exhaust systems, like by hand. All of it, I think it's TIG welding. They're TIG welding these systems and it is a beautiful stainless steel that they're using, really, really high stuff. There is a really big lead time on these systems. I believe the current lead time as of making this video, which I'm in 2023, uh, February of 2023, um, the current lead time I believe is like seven weeks. So, I mean, you're gonna be waiting around for one of these exhausts, but they are really works of art. Um, like any company, right? Especially because it is a small business. I know people get upset with these lead times and then of course they get like really pissed with these owners. But for the most part, because I have heard some company complaints, but for the most part, like when I've spoken to people at, you know, Daytona Bike Week or um, Biketoberfest, like people who run these exhaust systems, most, most of them like swear by these systems. They sound great and they make really, really good power. The other thing for you to consider, if you're looking to go with mid controls, like I did on my bagger, SPB Fab is one of the few companies that their systems are, some of their systems are designed specifically for people who are looking to run mid controls. The other cool thing about their systems, given that they're made from hand, um, surprisingly their prices aren't too bad. Uh, they have exhausts that range from like 1200 all the way up to, I believe like $1,670, so $1,700, but you're getting like a hand done system in stainless steel that's like so beautifully crafted um, and so that's what put it on the uh, the number four on my list and also too these systems are pretty damn lightweight um, I felt these systems before like carried them and and the, they weigh a lot less than stock and so when you think about it not only are you getting really good power from these pipes but you're also getting some weight savings there um, and for that that's what put it on my number four list so now let's talk number three on my list so number three on my list goes to let me catch a seat here. Uh, Got to sell on this quad. Number three on my list goes to Horsepower Inc. For those of you who have never heard of the name Horsepower Inc. before, definitely go check out their website. Definitely go check out their Instagram. Go and look at the bikes that are running HPI pipes. Horsepower Inc. is also known as HPI. They make some of the baddest stuff in the industry. And for those of you all who don't know, when I mean the baddest stuff, I mean like super, super, I can't emphasize super enough of high quality stuff. And they have a lot, a lot of R&D behind their pipes because I'll tell you what, from what I've seen in terms of the highest output on pipes, like power wise and torque wise, I have yet to seen a pipe dyno better than Horsepower Inc's bike. So HPI pipes, from what I've seen, all the dynos I've ever been a part of, HPI pipes are the like pinnacle pinnacle of performance and they weigh, they're like super lightweight. So you save a bunch of weight savings there and they look really good and they sound really good. So you're probably asking now, well then Bertini, what the hell is the downside to a Horsepower Inc. pipe? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the downside to a horsepower ink pipe, um, or two downsides to a horsepower ink bike, or pipe, not bike. <laughs> I mean, if you get one of their bikes, that's really good. Um, pipe. So the first downside is, you definitely have to have pretty deep pockets for the HPI pipes. Horsepower ink pipes um, will cost you a pretty penny. I believe they start at like 1870 or 1850. Um, so these are big, big money pipes. Um, in my opinion, of course, they're worth every single penny, but you gotta have some deep pockets um, to go out and get an HPI pipe. What's cool though, is it looks like a piece of art on your bike and definitely makes your bike stand out from rest of the bikes at bike shows or at bike events. When I go to, like I said, when I go to Daytona or Biketoberfest or even local bike meets, I can spot an HPI pipe from anywhere in the parking lot. They're just that 
nice. And so price can definitely be a downside um, for this pipe, which is why it's in the number three spot and not in the number one spot. And the second thing is their lead time. <laughs> The lead time on an HPI pipe, I mean, I've heard some crazy, crazy time frames. Just to give you an idea, for a custom HPI pipe, it's like 18 plus week lead time on a custom HPI pipe. That's crazy. The fact that anybody is going to wait 18 plus weeks to get a pipe, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're really, really, really nice but 18 weeks? I don't know, that's a hard pill to swallow. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, the HPI pipes on a regular like order, you can find from several dealers who what they actually do is they purchase the, these things, they order of them, they order several of them like months, months in advance. This way they, they're able to stock these pipes. So I'm sure if you call around all over the United States, you'll find some dealer online that actually has an HPI pipe in stock for your Milwaukee 8 motor. Okay, now for the number two spot. So the number two spot goes to Trask Performance and it is their Assault 2-in-1 exhaust system. Now, the reason why Trask got the number two spot is for a few reasons. One, and it's a big reason, is price point. So a lot of the exhausts that we've already talked about, these are crazy expensive. And I know everybody is like power, power, power this and super high horsepower numbers and super high torque and like every, you know, number, every number to the horsepower matters and torque, etc. Truth is, and I know this from being in the community for as long as I've been in the community and working on and seeing and being involved in reviews of a lot of people's pipes, most people do not notice the difference between one horsepower and no horsepower. So like a no horsepower gain versus a one horsepower gain. It is a total placebo. It is nothing more than something on paper. So you have to ask yourself, of course, if you're really interested in spending 800 more dollars so that your dyno sheet says you got 155 horsepower versus 156 horsepower. And so in my point of view, or from my point of view, when you look at the Trask exhaust, system it comes in at like I believe it's like roughly eleven $1 hundred dollars um, super high quality stainless steel really good system I will say one of the cons and I heard this by the way and this has been sticking with them for years because I remember when this thing came out but like numerous numerous years ago they had an, a welding issue with one of their pipes like a bad batch of exhaust and it wasn't even a ton of them it was it was like a handful of exhaust that had some like welding issues but they fixed that like three years ago, four years ago, and yet it still comes up. People will still bring up this weld. I can guarantee like these systems are really, really high quality stainless steel, really good weld systems. Um, Trask Performance, like a lot of other really uh, high top manufacturers in the industry, do a lot of R&D on this stuff. Trask Performance spends a lot of money on doing their R&D, and so these systems are really, really nice. And like I said, for the price point, you can't beat it, and that's actually why it's in my number two spot, is because in terms of power and performance, these things are really high performing pipes, like their numbers, especially at the price point that they're at, it is mind blowing how they're able to do that. And I'm assuming from a business perspective, it's probably a numbers game. Those, those assault uh, series pipes, dealers stock the crap out of those pipes because people love those pipes. They look good, they're reliable pipes and you get great horsepower and you get great torque and they pair very well with a lot of different cam system. The other thing I really like about the systems is you can get them in either a uh, brushed stainless finish, which is my personal favorite uh, on those pipes, if you wanted to know <laughs> my, what I would personally go with. Um, but you can also get them in black. So if you're going for that blacked out build, you can also get those exhaust systems in black as well. Now, lastly, for the number one spot on my list, in my opinion, this is by far the best performing slash price point pipe that you can get in the industry right now as of, as of 2023. This is the pipe that I ran on my performance bagger for years. This pipe, it is a two-in-one shorty pipe, 
okay? They also make it in, in a full length as well, but it's a two-in-one shorty pipe. The price point on this pipe is $999.95 USD. This pipe is featured on a Milwaukee 8 performance bagger slash race bike with over 200 horsepower and over 200 foot pounds of torque. So this pipe is definitely a performer. This is also a pipe that is one of the lightest I've ever weighed. If any of you know about my channel, I weigh everything. This is one of the lightest exhaust I've weighed in the industry. So before I tell you any more about this pipe, let me tell you which one it is. It is the Fuel Moto Jackpot RTX Riot 2-in-1 Shorty Exhaust. Like I said, they also make it in a full length exhaust system. And if you're wondering, by the way, I am not being paid to put any people on this list or in this order, etc. This is all 100% my opinion on what I feel is the absolute best performance exhaust system for your Milwaukee 8 motors, your performance baggers, your soft tails, etc. And I have to give it to Fuel Moto. They absolutely nailed it with this pipe. This is by far my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite pipe. Currently, um, I like I said, I have to think of all things considered. So some of you, and I know there are diehard HPI fanboy um, people who like, I'm diehard to HPI. I get it. There's people who are diehard to Trask. There's people who are diehard to d and I get it. Same thing with SPV Fab. I get it. They, they are diehard to the brand, which is beautiful. I love Loyalist. At the same time, I do have to consider all things to build this list and pricing is one of those. Like I said, the Jackpot Riot um, from Fuel Moto, the RTX 2-in-1 Shorty Pipe is $999.95. Like, it's, it's pretty much a no-brainer to me. And like I said, especially those of you who are going to ask me, well, why not get the, you know, the HPI pipe? Y'all, I've seen the dynographs between that RTX Riot 2-in-1 Shorty from Fuel Moto, the Jackpot Riot, and an HPI pipe. And I think at most, and this is dependent largely on head work that's done, on um, pistons, what size motor you have, throttle body, cam that you have, etc. And even in that scenario, the most difference I've seen between the Fuel Moto Jackpot Riot or RTX Riot um, 2 in 1. By the way, Fuel Moto, if you watch this video, Y'all have to hit me up and let me know why you give these things such long names because I can't remember all these things. Um, not that you should be uh, trying to um, appease me here, but anyways, the most amount of power that I've seen difference horsepower wise is three horsepower. So if three horsepower is worth a thousand plus dollars to you or 900 plus dollars plus a lead time of like three months, I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, wait around. But that's why, in my opinion, the number one best exhaust that you could put on your, your systems, those of you with Milwaukee 8 motors, is the Fuel Moto Jackpot Riot 2-in-1, or RTX Riot 2-in-1 Shorty Exhaust System. I love that pipe. Before I went to um, my turbo system, that is the pipe that I would run. I did a ton of research. I've seen a lot of dyno graphs. I've seen a lot of reviews. And those dudes over, or I should say those people over at um, Fuel Moto, they absolutely nailed it with that system. Um, I do not have experience with the full lane system. I have seen it in person. Um, it is lightweight, but I don't have experience with it on dyno graphs. Um, so if you, for those of you who want to know, when I speak to the dyno numbers, I'm talking about the shorty exhaust system. It is an absolute beast. All right. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I am going to be doing a video on my best, my top five best air cleaners. I'm also going to be doing a top five video on cams. I'm also going to be doing a top five video on tuners. For those of you who have not watched my build series videos, you can go ahead and check those out. I've done so much reviews and testing of parts in the industry. It is absolutely insane. I'm going to do one on floorboards. I'm going to do one on mid controls, on controls, 
on everything you could possibly think of, I'm going to be giving you my personal opinion on each of these. And some of the stuff is not what I landed on when I sold my performance bagger, my turbo 131 bagger. Some of the parts are that are on my top five list. I mean, granted, they're going to be on my top five. They're not going to be my number one pick though. As crazy as that sounds. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like I said, you're gonna wanna subscribe. I have my new build series that's gonna be starting here soon. I have a few build series actually that's gonna be starting here really soon. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned in for that. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, something that you can do that helps out my channel is clicking that thumbs up button, that like button as well. I am interested in knowing what exhaust system you have on your bike and if you're happy with it. Like I said, this is my top five list. I am interested. I haven't tested every single exhaust in the industry. I've tested quite a few exhausts. I've seen quite a few exhaust systems. Um, and from that, obviously that's the list that I made, but I'm interested in hearing what you all have on your bikes and what you all like. On that note, and most importantly, above everything else I discussed in today's video, Make sure you're putting out good energy into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.